text on screen, Oregon Caves National Monument and Preserve, Oregon. Title, Know Before You Go. Arrowhead logo, National Park Service. A car drives past the park entrance sign. Water flows peacefully, the park visitor center in the background. A ranger prepares to lead a tour into the cave. A tour group pauses at the cave entrance. A child points to a cave formation inside the cave. A ranger stands in front of the cave entrance, facing the camera. Hi, I'm Ranger Katie, and I work here at Oregon Caves National Monument and Preserve. The cave is located deep within the Siskiyou Mountains, and it was formed as acidic rainwater crept through the forest floor, dissolving the marble rock below. While exploring this cave, you will navigate through winding passageways, walk among the beautiful calcite formations, and explore a beautiful world of stalactites and stalagmites. We're excited for you to explore this geological treasure, but before you come, there's a few things that you should know before you go. With the right preparation, you'll be ready for a safe and one-of-a-kind adventure into the beautiful marble halls of Oregon. The first thing to note is that the cave is only accessible through a tour. The tour route is considered to be moderately strenuous. It contains winding and narrow passages, including steep stairways and some ceilings as low as 45 inches. In addition to low ceilings, you will also encounter more than 500 stair steps. For the safety of everyone on a tour, all visitors are asked to demonstrate the ability to pass through and under low ceilings and small spaces in the cave. For these reasons, we don't recommend the tour if you have a heart condition, breathing problems, poor balance, trouble walking, issues climbing stairs, have back, knee, hip, ankle, or foot problems. Because the cave is narrow and twisting, we cannot accommodate wheelchairs or other walking devices. However, we are happy to provide a sneak peek into Watson's Grotto for people with concerns about their ability to navigate the cave. In order to protect our cave, we don't allow visitors to bring in any backpacks or bags. The cave path will be well lit, so there's no need to bring along a flashlight. It's best to leave your personal items behind, or you can store them in one of the park's many available lockers. However, the cave is a constant 44 degrees Fahrenheit, so remember to bring a jacket with you. Will you be traveling with children today? For your safety and the safety of your children, we require that all visitors who enter into the cave meet our 42 inch height requirement. Infant carriers and strollers are not permitted into the cave. For those of you traveling with pets, please plan ahead. It's not safe to leave your pet behind in a hot car. Please help us protect our bats from a devastating fungal disease known as white nose syndrome. While this has affected bat populations in other parts of the country, we've managed to keep it out of Oregon caves with help from visitors like you. How can you help? Simple. When you visit Oregon caves, we ask that you not wear any clothes, shoes, or gear that have gone into any other cave or mine. We want you to arrive safely here at Oregon Caves, so please take note that the road up to our park is a winding one. Allow yourself plenty of time to arrive here safely. During our busy summer months, you should also note that you might experience a long wait time before your tour. While you wait, feel free to explore the miles of hiking trail that we have, join in on the park's Junior Ranger program, or take a look at our interactive cave exhibit. You can also plan your trip in advance by visiting www.recreation.gov to make a tour reservation. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope that we've been able to answer some questions that you might have had. I hope you're feeling a little bit more prepared for this awesome journey into the mountain, and I look forward to seeing you in the cave. Dripping water inside the cave, a ranger points her flashlight at a stalagmite. Drapery formations known as Paradise Lost stretch upwards into the darkness. A man and a child walk out of the cave into sunlight. A tour group follows a ranger. Mountains and sky stretch into the distance. Clouds move over mountains as the sun sets. Text. For more information about the park, visit www.nps.gov O-R-C-A. To book a reservation, visit www.recreation.gov. Text. Written and produced by Corinne Bishop, George Herring, Alexander Stilson, Katie D'Agostino. Presented and narrated by Katie D'Agostino. Filmed and edited by Alexander Stilson. Additional talent, Brett Lang, Kat Gans, Ethan Cole, Joshua White, Olivia Paddock, Hope Turner, 
Rio, and Rob Perini. Special thanks to the Yonasi family. Music credit, Jason Shaw, Back to the Woods, freemusicarchive.org slash music slash Jason underscore Shaw, Creative Commons Attribution 3.0 United States License, Oregon Caves National Monument and Preserve, Oregon, Arrowhead Logo, National Park Service.